Hey guys, welcome back to a Holy Stretch video. This is a stretcher size video for the abs to strengthen the core. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do below and we will get started shortly. If you do not have ankle weights, you're still more than welcome to join us in the exercises. In fact, it might be a nice way to get familiar first, but if you are used to ankle weights or you have some, throw them on and we're gonna get started. So the purpose of the ankle weights using the um, core and the abs is that you can get so much deeper by using the weight of the legs okay so it's gonna be really fun so if you guys are ready then grab your mat and let's get started hello welcome all right now that you got your ankle weights on and your mat gonna go ahead and sit up straight as you're sitting up straight bring the arms right in front of you this will help you with your posture and you're going to round down the spine this is great to start getting the spinal fluids moving around and also to exercise strengthen and tone your abdominal muscles so really working, squeezing all the abdominals as you're rounding down from the sacrum up each vertebra and then curling back up, really creating that roundness in the spine. So sure, this could be easy if you just go down and up, but I really want you to take it slow and really find that curvature in the spine. Very good. For each of these exercises, we'll do about 10, so we're almost there. Inhale, come up. Exhale, slowly round down. And then inhale, come back up. Doing a really great job at keeping those core muscles nice and tight and stretching out the spine. This is also good if you have any back pain because it almost irons out the spine, right? And we're creating that support with the strength of the abdominals. On your last one, come into a butterfly pose. You're gonna squeeze the hands, or sorry, the feet into each other and just get a little stretch before coming all the way back down on our backs. Once you're down on your back, we'll lift all the way up to touch the toes and then curling back down. So this is a little bit more advanced. Thanks to the ankle weights, your feet should stay down on the mat. Curling back up and reaching for the toes. So basically what we did before, but this time you're using more of the length of your body. So you're getting an even deeper stretch and a deeper strengthen. I like to just let the energy and flow allow my arms to just kind of float down. You don't have to do it this way, but I enjoy allowing the energy to move my body however it wants to move. So you can do that, just your natural yoga with your arms, whatever feels good. You can also notice if you feel a difference in the difficulty level when your arms are lifted all the way up versus straight up. Go ahead and come back up for your last one. Reach the toes. If you don't reach the toes, reach for your ankles or your shins, whatever is close. And we're gonna come back down on our back. Now bring the hands underneath the hips. They could be on your side, but I like them underneath. It just gives me extra support, so you can do that for your low back. And we're gonna tap the heels down. So keeping the legs 90 degree bent. You're just gonna drop the left heel and then drop the right heel. And it's really more of a tap. So we don't wanna literally let the whole leg fall. We just wanna gently tap the heel onto the mat. And what this is doing is working out your obliques. So your right and left obliques. If you're feeling this too much in the hip flexors, then you might want to lift up a little bit more and really focus on contracting those abdominal muscles. Very good, and when you've done 10, we'll go ahead and pull the knees inside, a little stretch, and then hands behind your head. This time we're going to drop the heels down and then squeeze the elbows in. So a little bit extra dynamic to what we just did. 
Tapping the heels and squeezing elbows in. You got it. Squeeze, tap and squeeze for 10. Try not to lift the mid back up too much. Keep the back as flat as you can on the mat. As you tap down, And really try and reach those elbows for the knees. Good job. We'll go ahead and squeeze the left knee into chest and drop the right leg down. And if you like, you can do a deeper stretch with the left by bringing it up almost like a happy baby pose, but just one leg. I call this a half happy baby. <laughs> and feeling the stretch in the groin, the hamstrings, and relaxing the belly. And coming in to switch it up, bringing the right leg in. You can do half happy baby or just squeeze the knee into chest. Take some nice deep breaths in here, feeling the spine relax on the mat, belly relax. Next, bringing the hands underneath the hips once again. We're going to straighten the legs out this time and now we're just dropping one leg down at a time. So this is a bit more intense than the bent knee because we're adding more length. So now there's a further way between your abs and the bottoms of your feet. So it's just gonna take a little bit more strength. So really squeeze with these and do the best that you can. So ideally the leg would be as straight as you can and you want to almost tap it down on the mat. Um, but as you can see, my knees are a little bit bent and you just want to do the best you can. This is very, very challenging, especially if you're wearing 10 pounds on each ankle, but you can do it and start with the knees bent. All right, nice. Now we're squeezing the knees in and pushing out. So I really like this one because it gets the low belly. So if you have any issues with muffin top or um, the little pudge right beneath your belly button, this is a really amazing one to do for that. It just burns bottom belly fat, squeezing in and kicking out. And remember to breathe. So inhaling, coming in, exhaling, pushing out. Sometimes I like to imagine myself as just a machine, so I get out of my head and into my body. <laughs> All right, nice work, everyone. That was very, very challenging. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the knees open by pressing the feet together and creating this butterfly with the knees. This is a nice way to open up the legs, the thighs, and just relax. Now that I've got you here, let's go ahead and work the inner thighs a little bit so we can squeeze the knees in and go ahead and resist a little bit coming out. So we're just kind of working the inner thighs a little bit. This helps open up the hip flexors, with which we worked a lot with the abdominal muscles. And then bringing your hands together with pointer finger out. We're going to open up and then squeeze back in. So we can lift the feet up as our fingers lift up towards the feet and then back down. So heels tapping and then lifting. Tap and lift. Got it for 10. Mm -hmm. Now you should really feel the burn if you've done all those advanced moves and you're on this one. We're almost done. This is a really nice way to get to the top part of your abdominal muscles and work the hips too. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and sit back up and go ahead and just bring the feet together once again. He did an amazing job. Um, please join me for some other abdominal videos also or some of the hip stretch videos. I hope to see you in a video again soon and have a wonderful day. Stay strong, healthy, and free. Love you guys.